I'm David Cooper from Eat Pianos, and today I'm going to show you some second-hand pianos that we've had in part exchange. So if you come through to where we've got the used instruments, I've got three different models to compare for you, and they're all different ranges. So uh, we've got the CVP, this is the 207, and the 207 is the, the older of the instruments. Um, about three or four years later, they brought out the 307, which is this one here, and, um, and then they went on to the 407, um, again a little while ago, but some great features built into it. So we'll start off with the 207. The 207 uses a disc drive, floppy disc drive underneath here. It's got a cover that pulls down, and it's got plastic keys. Um, later on they brought wooden keys out, but the plastic keys was what was in this one. The first thing that's quite obvious compared to newer models is the screen just isn't quite as clear. If you look at the screen, um, it's quite readable, but it's a little bit fainter, and it, from certain angles, if you go to the side, you'll see it gets a little less clear to read. Now, um, the sounds on here are very good. If we go to the piano button, we play the piano sound, so we'll what it sounds like. If we go to, I set up a sound in this one and we'll compare it um, in a moment. This is the English waltz. And if we put it on with its introduction, we can get an idea of what the English waltz will sound like and the type of style that you'll get from an instrument like this. So I'll play my chord. Into the rhythm now. So you can hear the drums and the bass and the accompaniment. Now on this one we have four different variations for the rhythm section, which is pretty typical, that's still current on the new models today, four variations. Just one intro though, on the newer models you tend to get three introductions now. Um, the screen is still clear to read, it's not as clear as the newer models. Um, the keyboard is plastic, we're not getting the wooden keys that we get on a newer instrument, but it still plays very nicely. We've got nice solo instruments if we go into the brass section of the trumpet. coming in. If we go to something like, um, so to strings are nice to compare. Okay, so a good string sound. Now the way the number system works, this is the uh, 207, so 2 means it's a, an older instrument because it's the 200 series, but being a 7 in the range, the 07 means it's quite high up in the range. The range generally have a, a 201 or 2, a 203, a 205, 207, and the top of the range, which usually had a shiny finish, would be the 209. So this is almost the top of the range, um, but without the shiny finish, without the wooden keys. Now the next model onto this, if we go on to um, about three years later, would be the 307. So if we go down, this is the 307. The 307 um, was made uh, more recently, they tried out a new system, which was the, um, the slotting cards for um, the memory to be able to be taken in and out. And um, it didn't really take on the card system that they used. But we've got the disk drive, just like the 200 series, and that's built in under Heath there. Uh, the screen, again, you won't see it quite so clearly unless your head um, straight in front of it, but we've got the contrast that we can adjust on there. Um, the piano sound is excellent on here. And um, again, it's still plastic keys. If we do the same thing as we did on the first one, you'll be able to rewind and compare them. Um, I've got on here the English Waltz, so we've got three intros to choose from on this one. Because it's a newer model, we've got intro one, which is just a, a drum count in. Let's put the proper chords on. Uh, there we go. Two, three, and it's into the accompaniment. Number two will be more melodic. The horns in the background. The third one will be even more melodic and maybe take a little bit longer. So the rhythm 
selection is good. The bass is better on this one. The speaker, a better speaker system. They're all the way underneath along the front. So you've got about six or eight speakers to give you a bigger sound. And these are tweeter speakers on the front, which give you the treble end as well. The thing that they've also changed is all the, um, the buttons are in the lid. So if I fold it down, the lid actually has all the buttons built into it and that folds down inside the instrument. All of these three models are giving you these page holders too, being higher up in the range. Keep the pages on your book open, they're very useful. Okay, so this is the 307. Um, a good instrument, good piano sound. Compare the strings, shall we? If we go to something like um, the saxophones, a great one here. So a good selection of sounds as well. Now the third one I want to show you is the 407, which is about three years newer again, and that's this one here. Now the 407 again has everything built into the lid. I think the first thing you spot is that the screen is called TFT. It's a flat, easy to read screen that can be read from any angle. So you haven't got to be right in front of it. It's a very, very clear screen. We can still change the contrast on it, but it's very, very clear to, to see from looking at it when the light's not in it from above. Okay, so we've got the uh, piano button sound. style section again we've got the three intros so each of the styles we choose we'll get three different choices the counting one let's have a listen to it the counting one will just be the four the three ticks now oh, let's put the right rhythm on okay same rhythm shows an English waltz. I'll go to intro number one which is the counting rhythm and we'll hear the three beats. Two, three, and we're into the accompaniment. The second one is more melodic. Much fuller sound than the previous one. And then the last one is even more full. two I've shown you have got a feature called OTS and what that does is it gives you a sound that will suit the style so in the case of the string sound I've got OTS 1 which is piano and strings number two which is going to give me saxophone the clarinet sound number three we've got um, trumpets and four strings so we're going to get some really good settings and some of the other sounds I can show you on here, we've had the piano. That's a big choice of pianos look. Mellow piano. So let's show you some more of the voices. If we go to the um, piano sounds, Big page full of pianos, mellow piano. Bright piano. Piano one. And we've got octave piano. And on the solo instruments, you're going to get more effects because they brought into this model super articulation. 
And that essentially means that we're going to get some effects by the way we play on the, uh, the trumpets. If I play the big band trumpet, if I press normally, but if I press hard, we get the, the wibble, which is... Um, we've got a trumpet fall. Now, if I press harder on this one, it'll fall off. And if I press my left pedal down, it'll go upwards. So I've got different effects I can bring in because the, the sounds themselves have been sampled in lots of extra ways to make them a better, better sound. Um, um, so we've got lots of sounds which are really good. We've got a, a same thing with the lid where it always has all the, the buttons inside it. Note the main difference on this one is the USB port as well. So now we have USB and that means that we can um, just put a memory stick and a USB stick or a, a hard drive and we can and have extra voices or songs or styles that we can load in or save of our own uh, and it makes it very easy to use and a, a much newer technology. So the 407s were the first of the ones which had a USB port on it. The 307 will actually have one but it's underneath because it was linked for the disk drive but the 207 is purely disk drive and that's because it's an older model. I hope you found that useful. Any questions do call us or give us a ring or come and see us in our showrooms in Banbury. I hope you found that useful.